Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about comics and comicsology. Comicsology is so sorry. They're so, so very sorry that they effed everything up, uh, that they destroyed their own sales and their own goodwill with their fans. We're going to talk about their apology thread on Twitter. This is the, what, the second or third time that they've done this. Uh, comicsology, for those of you who don't know, is a digital comics platform. They are probably the, the uh, leading digital comics platform. They got purchased by Amazon a number of years ago, and they finally merged Comixology with the uh, Kindle store, basically. And it didn't go well. It was a complete disaster. Uh, you know, everything that made Comixology great for reading comics was destroyed seemingly overnight. Uh, there's been severe severe backlash and sales dropped off a freaking cliff um, because nobody wanted to pay for digital comics you couldn't read. So now they're on an apology tour. I, I just don't understand why they couldn't keep things the way they were. Just maybe integrate it a little bit better with Kindle. But again, this shows how important comics are uh, to Amazon. Not, not very important. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 261,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about the comic book industry, having worked in comics for a number of years and making our own comics. And we're going to be making more comics in the very near future. If you go out to shopclownfish.com, you can check out the first couple of comics released under the Clownfish Comics imprint. Uh, this would actually be a reprint of our webcomic Shadow Binders. Uh, it's out there now. You can buy a two pack. Um, these are hardcover books. It's about 300 pages of material. Uh, yeah. And we don't have a lot of the Shadow Binders material available digitally because I'm too lazy to, to update anything on, on Comixology. That's, that's exactly why. So let's, let's talk about this. Coming from comicbook.com. Comixology rolls out new updates after reader and creator backlash. On uh, February, Comixology broke everything. Comixology updated their interface and phased out the Comixology reader as part of the incorporation into Amazon's website. And to say the update didn't go over well with both fans and comic creators would be an understatement. This is coming, again, from comicbook.com. Their words, not mine, but it was a disaster. There was considerable backlash from readers and creators almost instantly, which prompted Comixology to address the situation, as well as promise updates and improvements. Now Comixology has begun to roll out those updates. In a Twitter thread earlier this week, Comixology addressed some of the problems users have been facing, as uh, well as revealing some of the updates they've made, as well as promise more to come. Been busy making updates. Let's look at this thread. Thread incoming. Thread incoming. We've been busy making updates since the launch of our updated Comixology app and new store. We've listened to your feedback and we'll continue to share updates and new features as they launch. This is just the beginning, guys. Eventually, eventually, we're going we're gonna to make Comixology almost as good as it was before we broke it. <laughs> Two, we're still making a few improvements to our already live US and UK comic storefronts and plan to roll out storefronts to additional countries this year. Three, improved book resolution is now available in the mobile app. If your book appears low res, just re-download the book on your app to access the highest quality version available. Four, we've resolved issues with the new releases filter and made scrolling through multiple pages of results easier on the app and on the web. Oh my God, not a whole lot of likes on this. Like nobody gives a shit. I think they already... I think they already burnt the bridge. The comic store homepage on Amazon.com and Amazon.co.uk now automatically focuses search results to just comics, manga, and graphic novel content. Six, in the UK, you can now borrow or purchase directly from the homepage and new releases without having to go to the book details page, also available in the US. Seven, we've improved book downloads in the mobile app, such as stalled downloads or blank pages. Why were, they, why were they there in the first place? We're working hard to try and ensure no, no other download-related issues surface. Please don't pirate. Pay us instead. Please don't pirate. Uh, eight, the app library now groups content by series in Australia, Brazil, India, 
Uh, it's also available in the UK, Canada, uh, United States, France, Italy, Spain, Germany, and Japan. Nine, we know being able to read your comics on our web reader is important. Now, we're working as fast as possible to roll out improvements. Ten, this is not a complete list of every improvement that our team is hard at work on. Thank you for your patience and more updates to come. Uh, day later, whose tweets? Whose who's tweets? It's so bad. Here are this week's new releases. No sign of Reed Tiny Onions, Department of Truth, or Snyder's Noctera. Uh, yeah, rolling things back would solve so many issues. Hey, James Rowland. Uh, would solve so many issues. The only upside to Comixology now is I do get uh, a bit more from reward points since you're still missing some publishers uh, like J Novel Club. Uh, you're listening. Bring back the old site. Yes, I don't understand why they couldn't have just integrated this. Type. It's like, yeah, eventually we're gonna, eventually we're gonna get back to uh, uh, the site being usable. Eventually, and hopefully, hopefully that by that point you all haven't jumped ship to some pirate site that works better than actual Comicsology. Um, seeing as the feedback was largely, this is awful. Please stop. I don't think you're really listening. <laughs> You had the solution that users loved and it perfectly met their needs. Don't bother trying to fix this mess with your list of 10 and more to come. Just copy and paste from the original. Yeah, they can just roll it back. Why can't you just roll it back? Echoing masses that the rollout was unwanted and awful, but thankful you have listened and are doing your best to combat a parent company that thinks it knows best. I'm a casual but consistent reader, so I'm more appreciative of the response than upset at business as usual. Yeah, why can't all of this be replicated on Amazon? Keep it up. You've almost completely cured me of buying digital comics. Haven't even looked at the app or the store since it started. Uh, that is that is a problem. Uh, that is a problem. Actually, if you go out to Bleeding Cool, uh, again, Rich Johnston, uh, a month ago, he said he's heard that digital sales have dropped 10, or I'm sorry, 20 to 70% as a result of the change. A lot of people are giving up on digital comics. They're going elsewhere. They're pirating. There are pirate sites out there. Not that I condone it. Not that I condone it, but I'm just saying there are pirate sites out there that are considerably better than the official releases on, on Comixology. Comixology has completely destroyed itself. You know, this is, this is crazy. You know, got so bad, company co-founder David Steinberger announced he was stepping down from his position, which users speculated was a result of the app series of recent issues. Throughout the rest of the year, the platform will be working to resolve issues initially caused by Comixology 4.0 and other countries. Uh, fix this. Fix this now. Comixology, fix it. Yeah, I don't understand why they did this. Nobody wanted this. I understand that Amazon wants them to be more integrated with Kindle, but they already kind of were. Um, I know a lot of the digital comics that I read, you could read them either on Comixology or you could read them on Kindle. I don't understand why we had to uh, mess with something that worked. And what's going to happen is they're going to lose sales. They're going to lose, uh, the industry is going to lose digital comics revenue to pirate sites uh, for sure. People are going to give up on digital comics uh, altogether. I, you know, what, what's telling about this, though? I mean, for all the talk of, you know, digital comics are huge, di digital comics are amazing. This is not a lot of interaction. I mean, we're talking Comixology, the official account, uh, putting a tweet out there talking about how they're going to roll back unwanted changes. And it gets less interaction than like me posting a picture of my cat on Twitter. Right? Like, this is this is ridiculous. This is not a lot of interaction. What are people saying? Uh, if you had actually listened to your customers, you would have rolled back the update. Yeah. Uh, you can make all the amazing updates in the world, but unless you bring back DRM-free downloads for the new content, I'm not buying comics from your store. Yeah, especially when you're paying cover price for digital comics for downloads. Uh, thank F for that. Uh, well, you managed to turn a relatively perfect platform into a perfect piece of shit. Any improvement would be a positive, but so would the app just breaking and Comixology shutting down. We've listened to your feedback, but chose to ignore the biggest problems we've created. Reverse. Uh, revert the interface and website to what it was. That's all we're asking for. <laughs> Maybe they deleted it. Maybe it's just gone. Like, yeah, we put that on a floppy and then we just kind of threw it in the garbage. 
Comixology wasn't broken until Amazon relaunched it in its new and improved form. I can't believe a single uh, interface designer would look at the new version and unironically say this is better. No. Uh, not bought a book on Comixology since the Switch. Ain't got time for that noise. Good to see they're making progress, but browsing for comics on Amazon's website is miserable. Uh, Comixology was one of the only sites I would browse daily. Uh, too long, didn't read. Comixology still doesn't care for international customers. We'll see. Um, yawn, US, UK. Screw anyone else who was enjoying a series in a different country. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's bad. And it shows me that people just don't, they don't care. Look at this. What? 29 likes, 36 likes. This is freaking comicsology. This is like, this is where people go to buy digital comics. Now they're just going to go someplace else. Uh, they're going to go steal more comics. Uh, this is anti-help. This is anti-marketing. You've just made it so much more tempting to, to steal comics. Uh, congratulations, Amazon. And then they're going to complain. They're like, oh, comic sales are down. Digital comic sales are down. I guess we're just going to shut this down because what's the point? And you did it to yourselves. All right, I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.